Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you an awesome way how to create fake 3D text in Affinity Designer. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. By the way, fill up that comment section with ideas about what kind of Affinity tutorials you want to see next. And also, Industry experts agree that the smoothest 3D effects come from hitting that subscribe button. <laughs> that is some shameless self-advertisement. Okay, let's get started here. I'm going to delete all of the layers. So we're going to start fresh here. Boop. This is gone. And now the first thing I'm going to do is to go on the left side to my rectangle tool and create a black rectangle like that so we have a nice dark background for the effect that you've seen right now as you can see better what i'm doing up here you can select the fill color and like i said i select black as the fill color here the next one we need is the text tool and um the font color you can set up here let's leave it at blue and we will write the text cool like this. Okay, cool. And by the way, I'm going to show you two different ways to create fake 3D text. They are fairly similar, but have fairly different results. So let's check out the first one. And this is super easy and super fun because we're going to use the isometric tool in here, uh, which is one of these tabs up here. If you don't see it, you go to view and then studio and then to isometric down here. Okay, and make a check mark next to it. Good, so with that, you can decide, do you want this uh, on the top, on the side or on the front of this uh, like cube you can see here. So it gives you an idea of the direction it is going. So I will select top here and then fit to plane like this. And you can see it automatically switches into this position. So the next thing we are going to do is right click on the layer and select duplicate here, duplicate. And then you move it up just slightly in a straight line. Hold your shift key, move it up just a little bit. You can see here in the edges how much it moved up and then press control and J like choker several times until the text is high enough for your taste like this let's press ctrl and zero to zoom out so we can see the full text and you can see now we have a lot of uh, layers that are sitting on top of each other so the next thing we can do to make it look a lot cooler is we can select all of these texts so click the upper layer and then hold the shift key and click the lowest layers to select all of these layers. And now you can, for example, click here on the styles. The first one here, for example, looks pretty cool, like neon. So it makes the software a little bit slow as you have seen, but it's a really cool effect. So it's worth um, the hustle, I would say. Of course, you can apply any other styles or play around with it to give it 3D effects. So as you can see, this is a pretty cool way to create your text effect. Okay, let's go to the second method. It uses all of the first steps, but let's go back here without the style. So everything is blue again. What we are going to do is we are going to select the upper layer, this one here. It's kind of sometimes a bit hard to actually select that layer. And you can figure out if it's the right layer by turning it off and on. And you can see here on the edge that actually, yes, this is the most uppest layer. I'm gonna lock this with my little lock symbol down here. And now what I want to do is to connect all of the others together so it looks like a 3D shape. In some cases, like here on the edges, it's already a smooth edge, but here we have these jagged lines, which is not great. So we have to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the other layers and I'm going to group them together. Good. Then I'm finding the lowest layer, which is this one. Again, turning it on and off will give me an idea which one is the right one. And I will right click on that and 
convert to curves. That's important. Convert to curves. Good. Now that I have this, you can see this has created a group with um, a layer for each of the individual letters. So here we have the C and I will go over here on the left side to my note tool. When I have the note tool selected, you can see these white dots here. So let's zoom in here real quick and I will click here on the line to create a new point and then I will click on the corner point in this case and up here you can convert to straight lines. So I will click on that. Let's do the same thing with the second one. So now we have a straight line. That's good. And don't worry about the rest because the rest can't be seen. It's inside of our shape. So that's not a problem. And now we just move this up here. So we cover all of the rest. And this can be a little bit tricky sometimes because it's not always snapping to the edge. Let's move this over here a little bit zoom in a little bit more you can see with vector shapes you can zoom in as much as you want so this is really helpful for us so here now we have a smooth line and we're going to do the same thing over here okay Good. Now the next thing we are doing is that we will go to the group that we have created before and now use our gradient fill tool over here. And this will be applied to all of the content of the group. And up here, when you click, you can choose the gradient colors. So let's, for example, go from pink to blue like that. And you can still adjust, of course, your gradient how it flows and how it should look and of course how far it spreads like that and you can see we have some very nice um, 3d text effect now where the gradient is flowing behind the text on top and this is why we separated the most upper layer to have it sit on top and actually create the 3D effect. And of course, if you want, you can still go in here and change the color of that to anything else you want to have, like this, for example. Okay, that was the tutorial for today. Let me know what kind of tutorial you want to see next. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.